You've got an incredible startup idea ready to pounce on the world, but there's a problem. It's still written down on notepads and scribbled in various Google documents. But no longer. You're ready to build something great, and now you're on the prowl for a machine to power this idea on the web. But which web framework is the best for your app? Hi, I'm Jerry, and in this video, I'm going to tell you about the three best frameworks for building a web app with an honorable mention at the end. Now, before starting your tech stack search, write down a list of priorities for your ideal web framework. What do you value in a tech stack? Is it developer productivity, scalability, access to learning resources, libraries, or something else? Once you figure out your values, it'll narrow down the choices considerably. Now, here are my top three favorite tech stacks for building a web app. Number one, Python and Django. If you want to get something out quickly, then Django is the framework for you. Python is considered one of the most easiest programming languages to learn and is also applied in a variety of industries such as data science and scripting. It comes batteries included, which means that authentication, user management, templating, database storage, and more have an established structure within the framework. You no longer have to prowl for finicky libraries to add to your product. Django does it all for you. But a potential disadvantage of Django is how opinionated it can be. If you want to program something that does not follow its paradigm, you'll be faced with a mountain of overriding to make it work. Django hides much of the complexity behind the curtains, which usually suits what people need, but reveals itself when building custom solutions. Nevertheless, being opinionated also indicates that much of the decision making is taken care of for you. This leaves you focusing on building that web app as quickly as possible. Now, some famous websites have been built on Django, like Instagram and Discus. Check the bio for a link to famous websites built on Django. My second favorite tech stack for building web apps is Ruby on Rails, with the language being Ruby. Ruby on Rails, or ROR, is a batteries include a framework similar to Django. It's used to power a tremendous amount of websites across the web. It features much of the same criteria described above for Django, with the exception of the language. Ruby is popular with ROR, but its use outside of the web framework world are lacking compared to Python. As a result, if you're you're learning a new language and need to use it elsewhere, learning Ruby may not be the best choice for you. My favorite web framework number three would be Express and Node.js. Node slash Express is one of the most well-known frameworks in the web development world. It's not opinionated, which means you can structure the project how you see fit. Whereas Django requires strict adherence to its design, Node and Express makes no claims to the best structure and gives you complete control. This is good because you can steer the ship in any direction without much difficulty. However, it's also a burden because it means much of the architectural decisions lay at your feet and require micromanagement, especially as your application grows. These days, web developers describe themselves as full stack, meaning they possess skills in both front end and back end development. Node Express makes it easy to jump across a front and framework like React to a backend framework like Express, since they both use a version of JavaScript. Also, React and Node tutorials are plenty, and you'll never find yourself struggling to find the solution to a problem you encounter. And finally, the honorable mention goes to React and Firebase. Now, Firebase is not a true backend like Django, maybe, but it's a cloud hosted solution by Google that kind of makes the backend storage easy for you to manage. React on the front end as a UI framework is an excellent way to deliver great user experiences. This means that you can focus on the front end and leave the back end work of load balancing and scalability to Google through the use of Firebase. Finally, I'll leave you with this to keep in mind. Many new tech founders try to pre-optimize and future-proof their startups for success they predict will happen with full confidence. But here's the thing, startups fail and they fail a lot. Although tech stacks are important, they're not nearly as important as developing customers, business, and true feedback. Any of these frameworks will work well for you in the beginning. It's just what you value that determines which one to pick. So go back to those list of values I told you to write down and pick the most important ones, then select a web framework that aligns with those values. Do you have a favorite web framework? Post it down in the comments below and tell us why it's your favorite. And remember, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for listening. I'm Jerry.